everyone, how are you? Hello, everyone, how are you? Hello, everyone, how are you? How are you today? Here we go again. I thought we would be coming back to school today. I thought I would be in here and you'd all be waiting for me. But we can't all come to school because we'll spread the germs and then make each other poorly. So we're just to be on the safe side having a few more days of home learning. So we're now in the year 2021. Sometimes we've been talking about the 13th of December 2020 and looking at our calendar. But now the year will be 2021. 2021. And we've started back at the beginning of our flags. Do you remember when we were looking at December and saying that it would be Christmas time? We're going to be back at the beginning now for January. Put your hands up if your birthdays are in January. Well done. So you've got your new sticker charts. So we're going to have a little phonics lesson, do a little bit of work, a little bit of literacy or an activity, do a little bit of work. Watch our maths video, do a little bit of work. When you've done your three videos, you can put your Boris sticker on your chart. And then when your chart is complete, you get to choose from the choosing box. Are you ready this morning? Let's have a really good year because we need to turn our brain boxes on and learn a lot. Because later on in this year, in September, you'll be in year one. And it goes so, so quickly. So we need to get our brain switched on, ready for learning. Today I want us to look at a digraph that we already know. We already know this digraph. Eee, what can you see? But I want to write some words with it in today. So I'm going to show you how to do the writing. And then after you're finished, when the video is stopped, you're going to go and see if you can write those words yourself. I think you can. Before we do that, I just want to have a little warm up and have a little game of bingo just because it's our first day back and we need to warm up because I don't know about you but I haven't been doing very much work over Christmas I've been watching a lot of telly and eating a lot of sweets we're going to play a little game of sound bingo right at the back of your folder I think it's your very last page you should have one of your sound bingo sheets it looks a bit like this but you might have some different pictures. That sheet can be taken out of your folder or you can leave it in your folder. And all you're going to do is when I sound out that word, you're going to blend it and then put a cross over your picture. The first one to cross out all of their pictures is the winner. And what do you say? You can say bingo or you can say bingo, bingo, bongo, bingo, bingo, bongo. Are you ready? You need to make sure that you can hear me. Are you ready? Your first word is, listen very carefully, b a g If you said bug, you're right. If you've got a bug, just cross it out. I know in school we put counters on it, but you could just cross this one out today. Your next word, an easy one, you should know this one everybody. Cat. If you've got it, put a cross on it. Your next word is j a n. Put a cross on it. If you got it, then you gotta put a cross on it. If you got it, then you gotta put a cross on it. Your next one is s a n. You're getting very quick at these now. If you've got it, give it a cross. You may not have had any yet that you can cross out. It doesn't matter. You might get lots in one go. Your next one is t a p. If you can't do it, you can always do your robot arms. t a p. Tap. If you've got it, put a cross on it. Your next one is run. 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 You may have a picture of a little boy running. 
you've got it, put a cross on it. And remember to win bingo, you just have to put a cross on every single picture when I've called it out though. Next, another one you're good at. 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 Hat. Hat. Next one, this rhymes actually. Hat and cat. We've had hat, cat. This one is at. Well done. Give it a cross if you got it. Again, don't worry if none of yours have come up yet. Let's see what's next. D -o -g. Are you looking for a dog? If you've got it, put a cross on it. Your next word has got a digraph in it. Are you ready for this one? You hear that? You hear the shh sound at the end. If you've got it, put a cross on it. How are you doing? Next is p i g. P i g. Pig. Put a cross on it if you've got him. Pig. Next, listen very carefully to this one. It's b o x. Box. Well done. Put a cross on it. If you've got it, then you've got to put a cross on it. If you've got it, then you've got to put a cross on it. Oh, 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 oh. Your next word is d a d. Dad. Dad, if you've got that picture of dad with the moustache. If you've got dad, put a cross on it. Next is b b a s. Bus. Now you've got j. G, j, ug, jug, jug. Put a little cross on it if you've got the blue jug. Next is easy, and I'm I'm only going to sound it out once actually. M, a, m. Mum. If you've got this picture of mum, the next one is m, b. D. Bed. Bed. If you've got this picture, cross it out. You may have winked one bingo already. If you haven't, I'll keep going for other children. You ready? M a p. M a p. M a p. Can you hear the? At the end, map, map. Cross it out if you've got this picture. Next, next is red. Did you get red? If you've got the red paint splat, put a cross on it. Next is p e g, p e g. Peg. It sounds like pig, doesn't it? But pig is p i g, and peg is p e g. Peg. You peg your clothes up on the washing line. Peg. If you've got the peg, cross it out. Next is log. Log. I just told you it's log. Log. I don't know about you, but I've got one more left. Fox, 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 fox. They rhyme, don't they? 
If you're a winner, call out Bingo Bingo Bongo. Here are some of my easy pictures. So I'm going to do them all first and then when our video finishes, that's when you'll do your ones, okay? So let's have a look at the pictures first. We've got, what have we got here? We've got a B and can you see the E sound is at the top to remind you? B. How do you think we might write B? What's the first sound that you'd hear in the word B? B, B, B. B, B, B. So we know that first sound is a B. Don't forget, you can look at this chart. You've got one of those at home. You can look at those to help you with the letters. So I know that that's my brother's sound, B. I. I've got my grass and my soil and my sky. So the grass letters are the scaredy cat letters. The, what's the sky? Oh, the sky letters are the ones that are the brave ones, aren't they? They're not scared of the birds because they say, way a yada. And the soil here, which again mine's an orangey colour, is where the soil is, where the worms are. And the letters that hang below the lines are the worm teasers, aren't they? They say, you can't catch me. So B is reach for the sky. Start on a line, draw a line across it. Reach for the sky. Down the laces to the heel. Back up around the toe. Don't forget the skateboard. So I know that my first letter is B for B. B. B, 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 E, E, what can you see? And I can look at the top there and just copy it. Two F and must start on a line, nice and tight. Start on a line, draw a line across it, hey yeah. Cut the egg and take the top off. And I've got a die graph here. If I want to, I can draw my sausage underneath. B and sausage, because I've got a die graph. B, E, B. So I've got B, I've got C, sometimes people need glasses to see better, C, I've got, oh, I thought that one was toes but it's actually feet, sleep, sheep, and what colour is this? Green. Let's look at our pictures and see if we can find which words they're made up of. So C. What's the first sound that you can hear in the word C? C. 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 Okay. Start on the line. Go along with the bit. Pull my leg. Look at the balls. Top to back. Scissor down the straight. Don't forget the skateboard. He's a scaredy cat letter. He stays in the grass. Make sure you don't give him too big, otherwise his head will get pecked. C. E, S, E, E, what can you see? I can't remember how to write E, what could you see? Where could I look if I got stuck? At the top of the paper. It's hiding up there for me. C, S, E, more scary cat letters. S, E, C, B, C, they rhyme don't they? And feet. Feet. Use your robot arms for this one, please. Get ready for me. Feet. 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 It starts with. Go along to it. Hey, yeah. Up. Down the flower. And give it a curl. Feet. E, E. So we can do our beans and sausages. Bean and sausage. I've written the word feet. Let's check it. Feet. E, fee. Fee? We don't have smelly fee. We have smelly feet. What's that last sound you can hear? Feet. If you're finding that your writing is too big for the covered lines, don't worry too much about that. The most important thing is that you get the letters and they're in the correct order. Okay, so feet. Let's try again. 
heat, heat. It's really important to double check. They're quite difficult now, so you may need to get some help from your adult if you want to. The next word is sleep, sleep, sleep. E, 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 sleep. E, what can you see? Sleep, sleep, p, 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 sleep. Oh, I know this one. Boy, around the pirate's head, and draw his beard. I'm going to check that. Seep, seep, seep. It's not seep. The boy isn't seep, he's a sleep, sleep. You could put or in there. Can you see? I snuck it in the middle there. Sleep. If there isn't room, you can just do it above. Sleep, sleep. That's tricky. The next one, I think you're, this, you'll be better at this one. Sheep. What sound can you hear first? The sheep have to be quiet because the boy is asleep. It's confusing. Sheep. At the back of your folders, you've got this. And when I first saw it, I thought, what is that? This is crazy writing. But they're actually different digraphs. We've done the shh digraph. We've done R, start the car. We've done... We've done E, what can you see? There are some loculus. And we've done ook, ook. So this is right at the back of your folder. This will help you if you're stuck with digraphs. So if I need to write shh for sheep, I can look here. Shh for sheep. And I've got that the right way round. S and h. Sheep. Shh. E. E again. Ah, oh, that's because we're learning about E today, isn't it? Sheep. Shh. E. Oh, forgot to shut the gate there. Shh. E. Sheep. This is a hard one for our first day back. Sheep. What's special about this word? Have you spotted it? Did you say double digraph? Very clever. Well done. Sheep. Sheep. And the last one is green. Be very careful because at the beginning there are two sounds very close together. It's hard to hear them. Green. G green. G g. 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 Sorry, my pen isn't working very well. G. G. Green. Green. R. R. G. R. E. E. What can you see? I'm going to do that again. Let me rub that out. E. Green. Can you try that? Green. Use your arm like this. It's like a rainbow and your final sound hits your hand. Green. Mm. Green. Down level and over his neck. G. R. E. Green. That is quite difficult. I don't want you to get upset if you can't do it. Remember, it doesn't matter if you can't do it, but it's very important that you try. It could be that your adult could help you with some of the sounds, so you write some sounds, and your adult writes some sounds, and you take it in turns. You might be able to do it together. But I want you to give that a try as part of your learning for phonics today. Even if you do the first three, give it a try now. So that's your first video of the day done. Next we've got a little bit of literacy and we're going to be looking at the Gruffalo. 
and then we've got maths. See you soon.